what's up YouTube this is Josh here uh, from Team Revelation we just hit 60 subscribers the other day which is pretty cool um, it's not 600 but it's 60 which is pretty cool so thank you guys so much for those of you who are subscribed to us please tell your friends about us please help us get more subs and more likes and um, feel free to message us and comment anytime and let us know what you guys want to see um, uh, right now we got a deck profile for you. I'm going to do Chain Burn. Um, I kept it really simple. It's just a 40 card Chain Burn deck. Um, it's fairly typical, but I mean, it's, I don't think there's too much in here that's like crazy. Uh, but it's, I guess it's my own version of Chain Burn. Um, and I don't have any side or extra for it where um, you could make a side and you could make an extra. But I just, I haven't because I mean, you, you pretty much should win with just this. Um, and with the new format coming up anyways, I just I didn't make it so but here's the base and then from there you can uh, pretty much uh, Make a side and extra pretty easily just whatever you want really uh, It's a lot of preference uh, So we start off with three car car D. Um, this is kind of self-explanatory. You just you need the draw power um, So you set all your junk and then you summon him and you send him and you draw two so um, Yeah, he's very very good in this deck very consistent uh, three Scarecrow, um, again, that's uh, just for stall, it's just so you can protect yourself um, from the direct attacks and such like that, save yourself. Um, the Fencing Fire Ferret, um, he's awesome because he stalls, because he'll blow up a, a monster or um, and burn, so um, he's, he does a little bit of both, he'll kind of stall and burn. Um, so that's always good. He's only got 17 attack and only 600 defense. So I mean 17 attacks not that bad um, So you could attack and even swing for for game if you get him that low or run something over you want to run over So 17 is not too too bad, but obviously not crazy crazy good uh, Three marshmallow. I love marshmallow um, Just because it's funny name funny looking card um, and it's a good card, you know um, thousand damage when they attack into it and can't be destroyed by a battle so um, this card is just so so good in this deck um, and just good in general it's a fun card um, two stealth bird uh, I have mixed feelings about this card but for now I'm keeping it in because it can be very very good um, obviously it's kind of a where you set him kind of deal and protect him with threatening roar or something like that for a turn and then he goes off you flip summon him your opponent takes a thousand then you use his effect to set him down again and then hopefully protect him again you flip summon him a thousand so the reason why he's bad is because as soon as they know it's stealth bird um, there are plenty of ways of getting around it uh, namely the easiest way you uh, you attack it and um, you don't even have to run it over um, but I can't in order to get the damage in order to get the effect of doing a thousand damage you have to flip summon it so what that means is that if they attack it and they flip it up and then it's your turn. Um, you can use his effect to flip him back down, but then if you flip some of them that turn and you do a thousand, you can't use his effect again to flip him back down. So then he's stuck there with his 700 attack in face up attack position. So um, that's, I mean, I run him at two. Um, and so far it's been okay, but um, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about him. One lava golem, um, I have considered uh, upping this lava golem and then putting in um, I believe it's soul fire something like that it's the spell that you send a monster from the deck and then you do half the original attack damage to you to your opponent because um, that's pretty good with golem and golems is good in general I actually side golem in some of the other decks that I'm running just because it gets around so many different things because of the fact that you're tributing the monsters you're not targeting them you're not um, just destroying them it's different it's a tribute so it's it's um it's different it gets around a lot they swarm and you obviously you special their field and as long as you can protect yourself from um getting smacked with the 3000 beat stick that you just gave them it's pretty good which in a deck like this it's very easy to do with all the back row you run the melons and all that so um it's very very good the two chain strike obviously that's what makes it be called chain burn pretty much i mean you chain cards to each other but yeah it's really the chain strike um, this is part of the, the main engine of the deck. I only run two because you only can run two. Um, and yeah, that's kind of really all the story behind that. Um, two scapegoat. Um, it's good in two different ways. It's good if you want to combo it with either secret barrel or just desserts. It can be good. Um, 
Oh, I'm just kidding. It's only for you. My bad. Um, you have to supposed to summon them near side of the field, but it's good because it can stall things out. Um, and sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes you don't have any monsters, um, or you don't have really the right traps, or you're trying to stock them up so you can do your chain strike. So um, the scapegoats are actually very good um, for protection. Uh, one day of peace. Um, this card is really, really, really good. I wish it was at three because there's so many decks that could um, be made a lot better by being allowed to have three of these. Um, but you're only allowed to have one. Otherwise, there would certainly be three in this deck. Um, it's good. You both draw, and then no one takes damage for full set of turns. So, Wabaku, because it's Wabaku, it's nice. It um, stops you, any monsters you have from being destroyed by battle that turn, and it also saves you from taking any battle damage. Threatening Roar, again, that's stall. It's just to stall your opponent out. And it can all, it's also, these are pretty much all chainable. Just Desserts, um, we're getting into the burn cards now. Um, it's just just desserts. That's really really good. It's good for the the burn. The secret burial, or sorry, secret barrel, is um, also very very good. I think it's pretty much one of the best. My favorite, anyways, burn card in the deck, um, just because of how uh, consistent it is. I guess um, they always have cards in hand or cards on the field or something. It's very very rare that you play an opponent that has like almost nothing. So um, it's always pretty pretty. Uh, playable. Um, and then I have three magic cylinder, my favorite trap card ever. Um, I um, have been maining this card um, like at one or two in a lot of my other decks because a lot of people expect mirror force and uh, different things like that. So they'll uh, summon things like Maystroke stroke or whatever and try to like bait out the mirror force and then they end up running into the cylinder. Um, and I've actually, it's actually really, really fun to draw this late game and then win a game because you did it. Um, but in, of course, in a burn deck like this, you want Cylinder. It's one of the only trap cards in the deck that's not chainable, but it's still um, very, very uh, awesome. You know, so if they MST it, they MST it, whatever. But you have three of them in there, so. And then, of course, the two trios. Um, and I apologize earlier for the scapegoat comment. What I meant, um, what I was thinking of was the Omja Trios, which those summon tokens to your opponent's side of the field, three of them. So then cards like Secret Barrel and Just Desserts do even more damage because your opponent has even more on their side of the field. Again, you only run two of these because you only can run two. Um, but yeah, very good. And then we also have One Chain Detonation. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about this card. Um, but it was interesting because you can do 500 damage and then if it's chain link 2 or 3 then uh, you can add it back to your deck after it resolves and um, and then shuffle of course so you, it's possible that you could use it again but if it's chain link 4 um, then you can actually add it right back to your hand and then of course um, set it again which is pretty sweet um, and then my final two cards are Cemetery Bomb, which I am thinking of switching the Chain Detonation for Cemetery Bomb, just not sure yet. Uh, I'm kind of testing it, seeing how the de Chain Detonation works so far, so good. But if not, I'll probably put in another uh, Cemetery Bomb in. And then last but not least, Cease Fire. Again, only one of them because you only can run in that one. Um, it's good in this deck because you do run a lot of effect monsters and a lot of um, decks that you would play with this deck run effect monsters too. So it's um, it's pretty decent because it's 500 per each face up one. Um, so yeah, that's the, the basic deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Um, it's pretty basic. Again, no side and no extra just because I um, didn't really feel it was necessary for this kind of a deck, at least not at the moment. I don't really run it as a main one. It was just more of a uh, fun project that um, worked pretty well. And then, uh, yeah, thank you guys.